Hello. Very good day to you. I'm going to try and say the word rain as few times as possible during this 10 day trend. There will be some wet weather around, could be quite heavy at times, but there are also signs of something a little bit drier coming up later on. For the time being though, low pressure in control as we go through the next few days, various areas of low pressure pushing their way across, bringing spells of wet weather and some blustery conditions too. As we head towards Friday though, we have an area of low pressure pushing towards us and this feature has actually been named Storm Olivia by the Portuguese Met Service. It is going to bring some blustery, showery weather across parts of the UK, but nothing too severe, but worth noting that it has brought some very unsettled weather to the Azores during the middle part of the week. That then pushes through and then we have a deeper area of low pressure that arrives from the southwest and comes close to the UK as we go through Saturday. Now, now it's pretty unusual for us to get an area of low pressure as deep as this so close to the UK during this time of year at this stage in April. So it is going to be unseasonably windy and there will be some heavy rain around at times, particularly across northern and western parts. But worth noting that across parts of the southeast, actually we're not going to see a huge amount of rain on Saturday and we're going to drag in some very warm air. So temperatures are really going to rise. It's likely to be the warmest day of the year so far. But I'll come on to that in a bit more detail in a second. Second, let's go back to Thursday and first thing do watch out for some heavy perhaps even thundery rain across parts of the south first of all that should then clear away towards the east as we go through the morning and behind it then quite a few showers developing that but there should also be some decent bright sunny spells particularly across central parts of England and Wales and also southern areas and in any sunny spells not feeling too bad here with temperatures around 15 or 16 Celsius colder further north like it has been through the start of the week temperatures staying generally in single figures and there could even be a little bit of wintriness over the higher ground mixed in with any precipitation we see there. Later on as we go through Thursday we have a bit more heavy rain pushing its way up from the southwest and making its way across the bulk of the country as we go through the early hours of Friday. Again likely to see some sleet or snow over higher ground perhaps a little bit to lower levels for a time as we go through Friday early hours but that clears through and is likely to be lingering across parts of northern Scotland as we we go through the day on Friday itself. Then through Friday we are under the influence of that first feature Storm Olivia as it's been called by the Portuguese Met Service. So yes there are some blustery winds around and plenty of showery rain particularly across parts of Northern Ireland, parts of Scotland and perhaps into western parts of England and Wales. But for many it's actually looking largely dry and we're already starting to see that warmer air coming in from the south. So temperatures rising likely to get into the mid to high teens across many parts of England and Wales and even across Scotland and Northern Ireland temperatures rising higher than they have been through the start of the week. Later on and as we go through Friday night we see another swathe of wet weather pushing its way up from the south in association with that second low that I mentioned at the start, the deeper one that is going to bring some unseasonably wet and windy weather. So some heavy rain across parts of Scotland first thing on Saturday morning and then some outbreaks of rain towards western parts, perhaps some lingering across parts of northeast England. But as you can see across much of England and Wales it's actually looking largely dry and it's going to stay like that through much of the day or it's likely to stay like that through much of the day on Saturday, albeit with some outbreaks towards western parts. Uh, the rain doesn't look particularly heavy as we go through the end of the day. It will be heavy at times, but I'm not too concerned about rainfall totals, just worth bearing in mind that we are likely to see rainfall totals building up at times as we go through this week because it has been so wet recently. But like I said, temperatures really rising. We have some very warm air that we're dragging in. In fact, if we uh, look at the air aloft, it's some of the warmest air that we've had on record at this time in year. So it is going to be pretty warm indeed. There's a good chance that we're likely to see highs just about reaching 20 Celsius, which will be the first time we've got above 20 Celsius this year. We're factoring in those strong winds though. Because of the unseasonably deep air of low pressure to the west of the UK, it is going to be very windy, particularly across northern western parts here. Gales, severe gales and exposed parts, gusts of around 70 miles per hour are quite likely. Could cause some disruption. A lot of people traveling at the moment. It is still the Easter holidays. More blustery weather on the cards as we go through Sunday, particularly towards northwestern parts. Still the risk of gales, perhaps even severe gales in exposed parts, but the winds will be slightly less strong though.
than on Saturday. There will be some further showery outbreaks for quite a few places. Could still be quite heavy at times, perhaps something a bit more persistent towards the northwest with those strong winds. But on the whole, not too wet. There should be some decent dry weather for many of us. And apart from a few showery outbreaks, perhaps in the southeast, actually towards the southeast again, like on Saturday, it is looking mostly dry. Temperatures will be starting to drop a little bit. So still around average for the time of year, but quite a few degrees lower than earlier on in the weekend on Saturday when we see highs of around 20, getting close to the mid-teens as we go through Sunday. Now looking further ahead, and there's another area of low pressure coming our way as we go through into Monday. Bit of uncertainty about this one though. This is the Met Office model output, and it has a pretty deep area of low pressure. Not quite as deep as the one we're expecting on Saturday, but pretty deep nonetheless for the time of year. It keeps it though just to the west, southwest of the UK. So yes, there will be some wet weather around and some strong winds, but the worst of it looks like it will stay to the west of us. Just some outbreaks across parts of Ireland, Northern Ireland, and perhaps parts of Scotland too. For the bulk of the UK though, if we follow the Met Office model, Monday and into Tuesday look like they'll stay largely dry. And because of the position of this low, again, we'd be dragging in some warm air from the south. And so temperatures could rise again as we go through the start of next week. But if we then look at the ECMWF model for the same time, so at 6 p.m., well, uh, 18Z on uh, Monday, and it has the low in a slightly different position. Not as deep, not as intense with this feature, but it has it more across parts of northwestern UK. As a result, it paints a much wetter picture, more places likely to see some wet weather as we go through Monday. And because of the position of this, we won't be dragging in that warm air. So following, following the ECMWF model suggests the start of next week will be a bit wet and temperatures near normal. But if we go with the Met Office model, then we could have something a bit drier and a bit warmer too. So a lot to play for in terms of what happens next week. So unsurprisingly, if we look at our forecast confidence index, it really drops, the confidence drops as we go into the beginning of next week because of the reasons that I just said. So at the moment, as we go through this weekend, the confidence is actually pretty high. You can see the green showing higher than average confidence for this lead time. So I am pretty confident that we are going to see a very deep area of low pressure to the west of the UK as we go through Saturday, and that will allow for some very strong winds for sure, but also some high temperatures, which is why there's a good chance that we'll get to 20 Celsius for the first time this year. But then confidence plummets as we go through into the beginning of next week. And that's all really due to the uncertainty about the low pressure that we have coming our way sometime as we go through the beginning part of next week. If we look at the meteograms showing temperatures near the surface for both Edinburgh and Cambridge, and they show a couple of interesting things. I mentioned at the start that it's been pretty cold across northern parts at the moment, and you can see that with the Edinburgh meteogram, temperatures a little bit below average for the time of year, but they really do rise as we go into the weekend. Not a huge amount of spread either, so fairly good confidence that we are going to see much warmer weather across parts of the north as we go through Saturday before they then dip down again as we go through the end of the weekend and into next week. And similar for Cambridge, although temperatures are just near normal for the time of year at the moment, they really do rise as we go through Saturday. And again, not much spread in there. So high confidence that we are likely to see high teens, possibly low 20s as we go through Saturday. Again, then dipping down a little bit as we go later in the week. Now, looking further ahead, and I did mention that there are signs of perhaps some more drier weather on the cards. And if we look at the probabilistic pressure trend, and this chart, blues show where low pressure is more likely and reds hint at higher pressure. Remember, higher pressure generally means more settled, calmer, drier weather. And more recent model runs, the more recent model runs are at the top. Uh, you look further back with your model runs lower down. So the more recent model runs are hinting that as we head towards the latter part of next week, we could have higher pressure becoming more dominant. And so that would lead to something a little bit more settled than we've seen recently. If we look at the pressure anomaly chart for ECM from ECMWF for next week, going from Monday the 8th to Monday the 15th of April, and this agrees with the idea that we're likely to have higher than average pressure. Remember the pinks, the purples show higher than average pressure across much of the UK, particularly towards the south with lower than average pressure towards the northwest. So what's quite likely is, or most likely you could say, is we could have higher pressure developing somewhere towards the south of the UK and lower pressure towards the northwest. What that would mean is then wet weather will be more 
persistent, more frequent across northern and western parts because we would keep with a westerly flow in that setup. And something a bit drier could be more dominant across southern and eastern parts as we go through much of next week. This chart is the picture for the whole of next week. And I just showed you that ECMWF want to have a pretty unsettled start to the week. So it really does show that as we go through the second half of next week, there are strong signs or some signs at least that we could see something dry more developing. No real rise in our temperatures. This isn't a particularly warm, uh, temp uh, warm direction for our air to be coming from. But yeah, there are hints that we could see something a bit drier, at least towards the south and east as we go through next week. Then the last thing that I wanted to leave you with was the ECMWF plume for Reading because this somewhat backs that up. And this shows our precipitation forecast. And yes, there are various periods where we will see some wet weather in the lead up to, but the red line shows the deterministic model, so perhaps the most likely, and it shows a fairly good chance that we're going to see some drier weather more likely as we go through the second part of next week, barely any showing up in the red line there. Yes, there is some uncertainty, so some of the model outputs do suggest that there will be some wet weather around, so it's definitely no guarantee, but there are some signs that things could turn a little bit drier, at least for some of us. Of course, we will keep you up to date, especially with any warm warnings that we may require for the wet and very windy weather we're expecting on Saturday, but I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.